Today, we're back in Universe Sandbox again, but we've got two different wheels today. We got an action wheel and an object wheel. So basically how today's gonna work, we're gonna spin the action wheel and whatever this wheel lands on, that is what we're going to do. So we're going to create and then we see what object are we gonna create and we spin the object wheel. Okay, so now we go to Universe Sandbox and we have to try to create Neptune. This should be pretty easy if we just put a random gas giant and make it blue. Boom, Neptune. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we're gonna do J1407B, which has the biggest rings of any planet versus Stevenson 218, which is the biggest star ever discovered. But for now, we're just gonna go back to the wheel and we're gonna spin for the second time. Ooh, terraform. Okay, so let's see what object we have to terraform. Jupiter, okay, let's see if we can terraform Jupiter. That might be kind of hard. So here is Jupiter. So you can't terraform a gas giant. So first we're gonna have to make it not a gas giant. So I'm gonna make it silicate and iron and make it have no hydrogen left basically, um, which will, whoa, look, it kind of like smoothed it out, but its colors are still there. So it is no longer, it shouldn't be a gas giant. Um, I'm gonna turn down the mass until it's a little bit bigger than Earth, probably. Check that out already. It already is looking like more of a planet because it's got like its clouds on it. Okay, so it's about four times the mass of Earth now. Let's try to keep it looking like Jupiter. So you could say it's Jupiter with, oh look, you could put lights on Jupiter, city lights. Okay, we'll definitely have city lights on Jupiter. Let's add some water. I wonder what the water will look like. Okay, so the problem is it's all completely flat. So there's a point where the entire planet just gets covered. So maybe we just have some water. See, like, look, if you put any water, it just starts to cover the whole planet in water. So we're gonna try to have a tiny bit of water like underground. What's our life likelihood at right now? 33.5, okay, that's pretty decent actually. And then for our rotational period, we'll do one day. So it'll spin a little bit slower because Jupiter actually spins really fast and then let's add let's make sure the temperature is about 14 celsius that's gonna be a lot better than negative 100 is does it have life 82.4 chance of life on jupiter and it still looks like jupiter that's actually pretty cool can we add vegetation oh it just makes the whole thing green that's kind of weird looking let's not do that okay so there is terraformed jupiter spin number three versus okay so how versus works is we get two different objects and we throw them at each other so let's see what our first object is for the versus europa versus Deimos. Okay, so let's grab Europa. So here's Europa and then let's grab Deimos and we're gonna throw Deimos at it. Okay, here it comes Deimos into Europa. Oh, okay, well it collided and it looks like some fragments came off, but n <laughs> it doesn't even look like anything happened to Europa. That's completely fine. Here we go, here we go. Explode. Okay, so we're gonna see what object we have to explode. And if it's one in our solar system that's already here, we're just gonna explode it from the solar system. Like Saturn, that is definitely in our system. Now we're gonna go find Saturn in the solar system. Uh, where is it? Right here. And let's make sure it has its rings because I wanna see what its rings will do if we explode it. Okay, so there's Saturn with its rings. And now we're gonna go tools, explode, and then we should just be able to click on it. But let's make our time a lot slower. Should just be able to click on it. Boom. Okay, so there it explodes and its rings start to fly out too because there's no gravity holding them now. Um, they kind of move out with the shockwave of the blast and starts to, as it cools down, the, the clouds get more gray and then almost disappear. These are all of its ring particles being shot out. And that ring is like the main part of it. And look how, look at it grow. Whoa, it's like gonna overtake the entire solar system. Okay. Oh, look, some of the particles are getting caught by the sun and getting flipped around. That is cool. That is so cool to see. It's almost like a giant expanding string. And as they spread and interact with the gravity of the sun and other planets, it slows down the simulation considerably. It looks like a lot of them are just gonna escape into space. And then some of them will turn, probably become part of the asteroid belt, essentially. That was pretty cool to see. Here we go. Explode again. Okay, let's see what we're exploding this time. Jupiter, the one we just terraformed, the poor Jupiter. Okay, so here's our really chaotic system. Uh, let's see if, how Jupiter's doing. Uh, it should still be terraformed. Oh, it looks like it froze over because it's so far away. It still has a 52.3% chance of life, so life probably still is on here. It could just be like uh, bacterial. But anyway, we're gonna try to explode our poor terraformed Jupiter now. So same thing, we're gonna, we're gonna go tools, explode, and then just click on it. Okay, so all of the chunks of rock start to fly out. And this one, it, Jupiter technically has rings, but they're so faint, you're not really gonna see much. And it looks like that was about it. It just kind of flew out. 
it was cool to see uh look at the rings of saturn still like interlocked around the system that is cool hey create so we're gonna see what object we have to recreate in the system earth okay that'll be cool we're gonna have to recreate earth so we're gonna add a second earth and okay this system's very crazy okay so there's earth right there let's add another planet exactly opposite so like if earth's right there we'll add the second earth right here so they're like orbiting one after another in like a wheel so this is going to be earth 2.0 here earth 2.0 okay mass obviously is going to be one earth okay average temperature about 14 celsius we're going to keep it paused while we do some of this stuff rotational period is one day which means one day on the planet lasts 24 hours which is exactly what we want that actually helps with life because then one side of the planet doesn't get sun for too long let's add some water on here Oh, this planet is so ugly, but I guess that's what Earth 2.0 is going to look like. Yeah, I think it's this contrast slider. Yeah, that's going to help. There we go. Okay, that's looking a li little bit more like Earth. Let's add an atmosphere. That'll definitely help with the appearance on here. Check that out. Okay, yeah, that looks really good already, actually. Okay, that looks like Earth. Okay, what's our life likelihood on here? Earth similarity, 99.8%. That is really close. And life likelihood, 96.3. Very, very similar to Earth. Earth has a moon, so let's add a moon. And boom, there is Earth 2.0 and Moon 2.0. Oh, versus. Okay, let's see what's versing. Versus the verse. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, the sun versus ooh, wasp 12b okay so wasp 12b is a really big gas giant so let's take our sun here uh it is actually in space engine it's more realistic they have it's actually shaped like an egg i did a whole video on it in universe sandbox they don't have oval shaped objects yet so we're just gonna do search and go wasp 12b right here okay uh, so you can see it is fairly large compared to the sun. Let's launch it at the sun. So let's watch it collide with the sun and see what happens here. Here it comes. Oh, okay. So it heats up the sun. That's why the sun turned blue. And a lot of fragments shot out, a lot of gas fragments probably, because um, there's lots of gases at play here. You can see that ripple traveling across the sun. Okay, it actually, the sun actually lost a tiny bit of mass. You can see it's now 0.999 times the sun. And I think it put the entire solar system in motion. Oh, whoa. Okay, so I think this is still remnants from Saturn's rings, but let's speed up time. Okay, this is fast as it'll let me run it. Yeah, so see how the sun's kind of moving up, but it kind of drags everything else with it. Interesting. But yeah, the, the sun definitely won that. <laughs> Explode. Okay, let's see what we're exploding. Stevenson 218. Oh my gosh. Okay, Stevenson 218 is the largest star ever discovered. So we're going to put that in our solar system now. So you're going to see what that's going to look like. And then we're going to make it go supernova. Okay, still, we're going to put it right here. Look how big it is. It's going to eat the entire system. We're not going to put it right in the middle. Put it right here and just watch everything go into it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it already like absorbed everything. Look at all the ring particles either being shot out. Oh, look, it looks like a lot of things got shot out. And then if we just go tools and explode and make this go supernova. Whoa. Okay. Look at this supernova that's coming out right here of Stevenson 2 in it. Um, oh, okay. So it's been long enough that I think it all kind of disappeared. And then what's left at the middle? Is this like the remnant star? Yeah, because this star is only 41 times the mass of the sun. But can we explode it again? It's indestructible. It won't let me explode it. It just keeps supernova and then not dying let's set our time to really slow and watch what's actually happening okay so here's our supernova coming out and then oh did it finally disappear i have no idea okay and finally for today we're gonna put j1407b versus stevenson 218 in a new simulation and see what that would look like okay so here is j1407b i just added its ring so you can see how big the rings go out past uh, like Saturn rings, you know, would be like right here. And then J1407 goes all the way out here. Okay, now let's add Stevenson 218. Whoa, okay, I didn't realize how much bigger Stevenson 218 was than J1407B's rings. So I'm actually gonna add another ring on J1407B and make its rings bigger. Oh, okay, okay. So I just made J1407B's rings a lot bigger. So you can see now, 
they're all being heated by Stevenson 2 and 8. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Uh, okay, this is Stevenson 2 and 8 versus J1407B with even bigger rings than normal. Okay, so we have so many objects that it's hard to run the simulation. So it looks like a lot of the ring particles are being sucked into Stevenson 2 and 8. And I have to run the simulation at three months every second to even see what's going on. So it looks like, yeah, everything's being sucked in. Okay, there goes J1407B into Stevenson 2 and 8. So that is absorbed. And let's watch it eat all of the ring particles that, oh, whoa, as it gets so smooth. That was satisfying. Okay, leave down in the comments below what we should put on the wheel for the next video. Also, join my Discord server if you haven't. The link's in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.